heat heat order book pack answers pakalam choose the best answer page number 43 first one heat is a form of dash it's a thermal energy second one if you apply some heat energy to a substance which of the following can take place in it no all the above the answer d third one which of the following substances will absorb more heat energy abina solid liquid gas and all the above answer fourth one if you apply equal amount of heat to a solid liquid and gas individually which of the following will have more expansion of gas the process of converting a liquid into a solid is called freezing answer is c sixth one conduction is the way of heat transfer which takes place in a solid and answer is a second one filling the blanks first one a calorimeter is a device used to measure the heat capacity of water second one dash is defined as the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 kg of substance by 1 degree celsius no specific heat capacity next one third one a thermostat is a device which maintain temperature of an object constant fourth one the process of converting a substance from gaseous state to solid state is called deposition fifth one if you apply heat energy the temperature of a system will increase sixth one if the temperature of a liquid in a container is decreased then the in inter interatomic distance will decrease third one say true or false first one the applied heat energy can be realized as an increase in the average kinetic energy of the molecules the false second one the dimensions of your substance are increased if the temperature of the substance is decreased answer is false third one the process of converting a substance from solid state to gaseous state is called condensation it's a false fourth one convection is the process by which the thermal energy flows in solids na no? false fifth one the amount of heat gained by a substance is equal to the product of its mass and latent heat na no? true sixth one in the thermos flask the silvered walls reflect and radiate the heat outside na no? false next one match the following conduction conduction solid convection liquid radiation vacuum sublimation sublimation solid to gas condensation gas to liquid next one answer in briefly first one what are the applications of conduction in our daily life page number 37 the conduction in daily life the last paragraph idu full ave eludikano we cook food in vessels made up of metals when the vessel is heated heat is transferred from the metal to the food second point when we iron dresses heat is transferred from the iron to the cloth third one handle of cooking utensils are made up of plastic or wood because they are poor conductor of heat fourth point the temperature inside the igloo the snow house is warm because snow is poor conductor of heat id varaiku first question next to second question what are the effects of heat page number 35 second one answer expansion increase in temperature change in state the second question or answer
नेक्स्ट थर्ड क्वेश्चन नेम थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ की ट्रांसफर पेज नंबर थर्टी सेवन ट्रांसफर ऑफ हीट अब अस्ट लाइन थ्री वे हीट ट्रांसफर और कंडक्शन कन्वेक्शन रेडियशन इतर्ड कोशन नेक्स्ट फोर्थ कोशन वाट इज कंडक्शन पेज नंबर थर्टी सेवन फर्स्ट पारग्राफ को अत टू थ्री फोर फिफ्त लाइन कंडक्शन इज द प्रास् हीट ट्रांसफर इन सालिड फ्रम द रीजन आफ हयर टेम्प्रेचर टू द रीजन आफ लोवर टेम्प्रेचर वित्ट दक्चुअल मूमेंट आफ आटम और मालिकूल इत वो फोर्त कोशन नेक्स्ट फिफ्त कोशन Write a note on convection. Page number thirty-eight. In the paragraph, la the length chart panano the form of heat transfer from places of high temperature to places of low temperature by the actual movement of molecules is called a convection. Convection takes place in liquid and gases. Next one, sixth question. Define specific heat capacity. Page number forty. Forty la third line la specific heat capacity of a substance is defined as the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of one kilogram of a substance by one degree Celsius or one K. It is denoted by the symbol C. The very good sixth question. Next one, seventh question. Define one calorie. Page number thirty nine. In the last unit of heat, la in the last line, go mother line, la one calorie is the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of one gram of water through one degree Celsius. Is that right? Seventh question. Next one, Roman letter seven. Answer in detail. With the help of a neat diagram, explain the working of a calorie meter. Page number forty. This is the important question. The in the page forty, la the calorie meter. Clearly, I did. I did not tell you. A calorimeter is a device used to measure the amount of heat gained or lost by a substance. It consists of a vessels made up of metals like copper or aluminium which are good conductor of heat and electricity. The metallic vessel is kept in a uh, insulating jacket to prevent heat loss to the environment. There are two holes in it. Through one hole, a thermometer is inserted to measure the temperature of the contents. The stirrer is inserted through another hole for stirring the content in the vessel. The vessel is filled with liquid, which is heated by passing current through the heating element. Using this device, we can measure the heat capacity of the liquid in the container இது வரைக்கும் எழுதிட்டு இந்த டயக்ராம் ட்ரா பண்ணனும் இது வரைக்கும் வந்து ஃபர்ஸ்ட் क्वेश्चन ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டீடைல் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் ரைட் a note on thermostat page number 41 the thermostat 4.5 ல இருக்கு thermostat a thermostat is a device which maintains a temperature of a place or an object constant The word thermostat is derived from the two Greek words thermo meaning heat and static meaning staying the same thermostat are used in any device or system that gets heated or cooled down to a preset temperature it turns an appliance or a circuit on or off when a particular temperature is reached Devices which use the thermostat include building heater, central heater in a room, 
air conditioner, water heater as well as kitchen equipments including oven and refrigerators. Sometimes a thermostat functions both as the sensor and the controller of a thermal system. Up to this second question. One third detail. Explain the working of thermo flask. This is also the important question. Page number 41. The working of thermo thermos flask. The, the last paragraph. A thermo flask has double walls which are evacuated. It is silvered on the inside. The vacuum between the two walls prevents heat being transferred from the inside to the outside by conduction and convection. Now, we will draw the diagram. With very little air between the walls, there is almost no transfer of heat from the inner wall to the outer wall or the vice versa. Conduction can only occur at the point where the two walls meet at the top of the bottle and through an insulated support at the bottom. The silvered walls reflect radiated heat back to the liquid in the bottle. So the lesson over we meet in the next class. Subscribe the channel.